Hey everybody, Gordon with PC World. I'm here with our GPU expert, Brad Charkis. Hello. We are gonna settle the question everybody wants to know. Axial versus blower, which is better? Neither There's is. only one answer, Brad. Neither is better. They both have very specific use cases. One is better than the other for the vast majority of people though. So, blower sire coolers, they come reference cards up until the current- Single video. fan, right? Single so fan, single fan in there. Shroud. There's a single fan in the shroud, it sucks the air in, shoots out the back of your PC right through the, where all the ports are on the graphics card. Axial fans, usually dual axial, triaxial, two or three fans, their fans sit right in the shroud, and what they do is they take all the heat from your graphics chip and dump it back into your case, and then the case uh, fans blow all the hot air out like they do all the normal hot air. So blower style fans, uh, they're popular reference uh, reference cards because you know typically like companies like AMD want to give their board partners room to operate. It's very useful because it avoids dumping hot air back into your system. So blower style fans can be useful if you're running multiple GPUs for whatever reason. If you've got three or four graphics cards in your system. A blower style cooler gets all that hot air out of the back of your system rather than the one on the top dumping on the one on the bottom, the, that one dumping on the one underneath that, etc. But they tend to run a lot hotter and they tend to run a lot louder. So that's the big negative to them. Now, earlier you said that uh, companies like AMD and Nvidia, they like to let their partners operate. What does that mean exactly? Well, whenever you buy a graphics card, um, you're typically not buying it right from AMD or NVIDIA. They, they make the GPUs and then they give the GPUs to their board partners like ASUS and EVGA and MSI. And those companies make the graphics cards that you buy and they frequently try to one-up each other, give you more value by putting custom fan designs on there, custom coolers, big beefy heat sinks, RGB lighting, overclock, stuff like that. And that's where these blower style designs, or not blower, axial style designs typically come in. Um, they're all trying to make the best coolers that they can. So they tend to run a lot cooler, which in turn lets you get more of an overclock, which modern day GPUs are very sensitive to thermals and power demands. So if you can have a cooler cooler, uh, then you can potentially get more performance out of your graphics card as well. So that's a big benefit of axial designs. Okay, so what what situations, because I mean the popular opinion that blower fans shouldn't even exist, you disagree yep. with that. So yep. what are the situations you should be running a blower fan versus a dual axial? So the multi-GPU I was mentioning earlier, that's definite consideration. Uh, and also if you run a small form factor PC, um, there's not a lot of room in those, and a lot of them don't have great ventilation to begin with. So if you have a small form factor PC, like the Silverstone makes a nice one, uh, then if you get a blower style cooler, it just blows it all at the back for you. So it's, it just makes life a lot easier. Those are really the only two scenarios where I would want uh, a blower style fan. Okay. The Radeon RX 5700 series just came out, and for the first month or so, they were only available in blower style designs. Um, reference versions just came out. I reviewed the Sapphire Pulse, which is only about $10 more. Switching to an axial design, you know, putting a beefier heat sink on it, it runs so much quieter and cooler. It's, I mean, you can get a cheap custom design for not much more than a reference card. So most, most people with a system with proper air cooling, yeah. airflow, that's, they don't, they should not consider a blower fan at all. No. Okay. Hmm. It's specialized. So uh, it sounds like you're saying they they should exist, but they should only exist for a few people. That's correct. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad I know that now. <laughs> anyway, come back. Uh, if you want to talk about cool PC topics, come back to the Full Nerd. We love talking about this stuff. We do a live stream. You can go in and comment. We'll see you there.